Hi everybody, it's Mark Shellshear. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. Now, I've had a question which I'm going to read in a moment. Now, for all of you who have been with me for a while, you know my attitude to this subject, but I'm going to answer it again and hopefully clarify it even more where I stand on this. This was the question that was asked me. You have to excuse me, I've got to read it. Please, sir, if you could kindly speak on painters who are copying other paintings and signing them only with their names on them and getting into galleries, I was told this is plagiarism, cheating. Where does one join the line? Wow, this is the subject that I get into and I'm very passionate about. I do not believe copying is right at all. I see no place for it. It is not what I call art. Now, before everybody jumps and gets a pen and starts writing me, yes, when we're in college or when we are learning, we copy the masters to learn how to do it. I agree. And that can take years of copying. I agree. But the thing is, we're not artists, we're students. And we're students learning to paint by copying the masters. And on every one of those paintings that we do as a student, we should sign them after whoever it is. After Picasso, after Leonardo da Vinci, after whoever. We should acknowledge the original creator of the work. So important. And next, you cannot sell these. I do not believe it's right to sell them, give them away, bless people with them. But as an artist, we need to produce original work that is ours. Original work that we have come up with, that we have produced. Now, yes, we are influenced by many things, but we are not to copy other paintings. Now, I see paintings copied all the time and it really annoys me. And what artists do is they'll copy something like the Mona Lisa and then they'll put blood coming out of her face or something. That's still the Mona Lisa, guys. I don't care about the blood. You can't do that. We've got to become original. We've got to produce work like here, Melbourne Aquino. This is original work. Nobody else does this. No one. So don't tell me it can't be done because he's doing it. This is original sculpture. Nobody else is doing this. Don't tell me it can't be done because he's doing it. And we have other young guys here like Austin and people like that who are doing original work, not copying other people. So copying as far as I'm concerned is wrong. If you change the color of the background, it's still a copy. If you change the color of the foreground, it's still a copy. You can't do that. And I'm of the place where I, I'm, I think I'm the only one who stands out railing against this. I feel a little bit like Don Quixote railing against the windmills. Other galleries accept copied work. That's wrong. I believe it's wrong. So for the person who wrote this, I'm on your side. I think it's terrible that painters go and copy. Notice I didn't call them artists. Painters go and copy other people's work, sign it with their name, and then hang it up in a gallery to, to sell. This is wrong. Now, you've all heard of the great artist, Jackson Pollock. Whether you like his work or not is irrelevant. Jackson Pollock, as far as I'm concerned, is one of, was the, one of the most influential 20th century painters. Jackson Pollock changed the way we saw art. Jackson Pollock did things that everybody said you shouldn't do. He got paint and just threw it over the canvases. And if you're in Australia and you haven't seen Blue Poles yet, then you've missed out on one of the great masterpieces of the 20th century. Jackson Pollock was a great painter. Now, Jackson Pollock learned to paint under an artist by the name of Thomas Hart Benson, uh, Benton, sorry, and he had a brother. Jackson Pollock did, and Jackson Pollock's brother was named Charles Pollock. I bet none of you heard of him. And the reason none of you heard of him is that Charles Pollock was a factory worker. 
Charles Pollock learnt under Thomas Hart Benton and then he painted exactly like Thomas Hart Benton for his whole life. So if you'd bought a Thomas Hart Benton painting, you've also bought a uh, Charles Pollock painting. He never, he never did anything. He just stayed exactly like his teacher. And we see that today. We see so many children coming through art school who end up painting exactly like the master and the master's happy about this. What, how crazy is that? I mean, I think it's insane. So how come Thomas Hart Benton taught Charles Pollock and taught Jackson Pollock, Charles Pollock went on to become forgotten and Jackson Pollock went on to become one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. Why? Because Jackson Pollock had an original idea. He had an original thought. He was a man who had passion and he wanted to change art and he did. Did he get rich doing that? No. Was he hugely popular in his day? Not particularly. He was just fortunate to get into Life magazine. And yes, his paintings went up in price and he became reasonably popular. And after his death, he became more popular. Which is unfortunate that he died at a young age. He was killed in a motor car accident. But Jackson Pollock was an artist. He was a man who had an original thought. He did not need to copy other people. He did not even need to be influenced by other people. He painted. And that's what made the difference. That's what made Jackson Pollock great. And the other ones, Rothko and Barnett and all the other ones, made them great. Why? Because they had an original thought. That's what's lacking with all these copiers. They have no original thought. They have nothing original about them. They just copy. They are like the town in China called Dotham, which is a town that paints oil paintings. Paints most of the oil paintings you see sold in, in, uh, these, uh, in the stores in the West. They, they paint oil paintings. And what they do is they just paint the same painting over and over and over again. Are they good at what they do? Yeah, they're very good at what they do. Are they good tradesmen? Yes, they're very good tradesmen. Are they good painters? Yes, they paint very well. Are they artists? No, they're not artists. They are factory workers. That's what they are. They are not artists. An artist is someone who produces an original artwork. Like this. This is what artists do. Artists don't copy. They don't do what they were taught by their professor or their art teacher. They don't keep repeating Thomas Hart Benton like Charles Pollock did. Charles Pollock is forgotten. Jackson Pollock is one of the greats. Isn't that interesting? Original thought is what you need. Now, friends, if you're like me and you do original artwork and you're like Melbourne here and many others and the galleries don't want you, you're better off without them. Do your own thing. Get into the malls. Get onto the street. Get into guerrilla shows. Rent a store overnight. Put your work in. Original art makes a way for itself. It truly does. When they first saw Jackson Pollock's paintings, he was laughed at. When they first saw the Impressionist paintings, the Impressionists were laughed at. When uh, uh, what's his name? Vincent. Never got to sell a painting. They laughed at his colours. Today, they're all masters. Ignore the galleries. Look, I work in galleries. I've been in galleries an awful long time. If you ask me, do I know what's going to sell? I have no idea. It depends on what the client wants. That's the truth. These galleries who tell you, oh, we know what will sell and we know what will... Oh, that's all rubbish. They've got no idea. I thought this would sell, but up to this stage, it hasn't. It's great art, but probably the people who are looking for things right now need something to match the, the sofa, and the sofa's blue, so this won't match it. Original art will make a way for itself. Be an original artist. Have your own thought. Have original thoughts and put them down on your canvas. My friends, don't be a factory worker. Don't be a painter. And if you are involved with those right now, walk away. You do not need that influence in your life because they will change you. You will not change them. 
Factory workers are always going to be factory workers and great thinking artists are always going to be great thinking artists. So just separate from them. Okay, look, I know I'm passionate about this subject and I really am and I know I lose people because I'm so passionate about it. That's okay because the people who don't like what I'm saying, it's not for you. It's for the people who understand what I'm saying and agree. Hey guys, you have a great day. I believe in original art. I love it. I, I love this kind of work. This kind of work makes me want to weep. It's so beautiful that it was never before and now it is. How good is that? So my friends, you go out, paint your heart out, have original thoughts, original ideas. Ignore the people who criticize. Ignore the people who say you should do this, it will sell. Don't. Do you. That's the best thing you can do. You have a wonderful day. I look forward to the day when I come and visit you. Hopefully it's not too long away and talk to you in your studio and look at your original art. You have a wonderful day. Remember to reach out and touch people. There's hurting people out there. Hugs and smiles are free. Give them away generously. And I, I look, again, I've said it a couple of times lately, but I am so grateful for all you people who've stuck with me right along and we're seeing things happening now. You guys, have a fabulous day. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.